let us discuss this example so in this example we have capital x which is a collection of all real valued sequences which are converging to zero as you can see here xn converges to zero so we have all sequences or real valued sequences which are converging to zero so they have defined this norm in this way which is supremum of mod xn that means you know that when you have any sequence it will have infinitely many terms what we do we take mod of each term and what will be the maximum value what will be the supremum value that will be the value of that norm so we have to prove that this norm is norm on x that means it satisfies all four properties of norm so maybe you will be worried about that supremum will exist or not but no need to worry since the important thing they have given that is xn converges to zero that means it is a convergent sequence we know that every convergent sequence is bounded so therefore every sequence of capital x is a bounded sequence so therefore supremum will exist getting so this supremum will exist and so therefore norm x will have some finite value okay so let us start to discuss so what we do we take one sequence let mm, let let me take let x is equal to xn belongs to capital x so clearly one one thing we can write clearly clearly mod xn greater than or equal to 0 for all n belongs to set of natural number so you know that xn means it is the sequence it will have infinitely many value, no, terms getting so if you take mod definitely it will be non negative since it is a sequence of real number so if, when you take a mod of any real number definitely we will have greater than or equal to 0 so therefore mod xn is greater than or equal to 0 so see it is greater than or equal to 0 for all n so therefore its supremum getting its supremum will also greater than or equal to 0 it is also greater than or equal to 0 but see this is nothing but definition of norm x so therefore what can we write so this is norm x is greater than or equal to 0 and this is true for all x belongs to capital x since we had taken any arbitrary sequence it is true for any arbitrary sequence so therefore it is true for all sequences of capital x that means all elements of capital x getting so the first condition is satisfied here let us go for the second condition do you remember what is the second condition second condition is norm x is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0 let us start to prove second okay so see for we are taking x is equal to xn belongs to capital x okay so x represents a sequence huh? keep in mind so let us consider let us consider this is any arbitrary sequence huh? consider norm x is equal to 0 we are starting with left hand side norm x is equal to 0 we have to prove that if and only if x is equal to 0 so let us continue we will simply follow the definition definition says supremum of mod xn n belongs to set of natural number is equal to 0 simply i put its definition here but see when we say supremum is 0 and none of them is negative that means each of them must be 0 for example i think in previous video also i had given the same example suppose there is a student appeared for the examination after that few days after few days result is declared okay result is declared so there is no negative marking system huh? keep in mind result is declared seven or eight subjects are there his maximum marks are zero maximum marks are zero that means in each subject he or she has got zero marks since there is there are no negative marks getting so same similarly supremum is zero that means each and every term must be zero so let me mention here if and only if mod xn is equal to zero and this is true for all n belongs to set of natural number if and only if when we say mod is 0, when the number inside mod is 0, then we say mod is also 0. That means xn is equal to 0 for all n belongs to set of natural number. So actually we have a sequence whose each and every term is 0. That means the sequence is 0 sequence or you can simply say null sequence. So every term of that sequence is 0. That means the sequence is also simply 0. So we started with norm x is equal to 0 and finally we concluded with x is equal to 0 therefore we can say the second condition is also satisfied so let us discuss third conditions for third condition we want element of x as well as one, we want one scalar that means real number i have taken alpha 
so the third condition is norm alpha x is equal to mod alpha norm x this thing we have to prove let us start with left hand side so consider i am considering norm alpha x it means norm alpha xn x, actually x represents a sequence xn right so this is equal to norm we can say alpha xn that means when you multiply any sequence by any constant that means you should multiply each and every term of that sequence by that constant so that's why i wrote in this way let us follow the definition definition says this is equal to supremum of yeah what we have mod alpha xn n belongs to set of natural number right so see mod is there multiplication is there so we can take separate separate mod so what will we have supremum of mod alpha mod xn n belongs to set of natural number actually mod alpha is a multiple of each and every mod xn so mod alpha also we can take it outside and we can write mod alpha into supremum of that so let me write it here this is equal to mod alpha supremum of mod xn n belongs to set of natural number okay let us see what we have finally so mod alpha i've written as it is supremum of mod xn that is nothing but definition of norm x so we can write norm x okay and this is true for all x belongs to capital x we started with norm alpha x and we concluded with mod alpha norm x that means we could take that mod alpha outside okay so the third condition is satisfied see for fourth condition two sequences are required right so i have taken x and y be two sequences right so after that what will i do uh, definitely we can write one thing let me write it here clearly clearly mod xn plus y less than or equal to mod xn plus mod y this is true for all n belongs to set of natural number actually basically these are two real valued sequences getting so real sequences and that's why uh, already we know that when you have two real numbers we add them and when we take mod if you take separate separate mod value will get increased we call it as triangle inequality right this is true for all n belongs to set of natural number see one thing we can write here this is definitely less than or equal to supremum of mod xn n belongs to set of natural number okay so this one mod xn definitely less than or equal to its supremum and mod y in case of mod y also we can write the same which is less than or equal to supremum of mod y n belongs to set of natural number you are familiar with this this is nothing but definition of norm x so let me write it here norm x and this one is second term is definition of norm y right norm y so what we get finally so therefore therefore what can we write mod xn plus y n less than or equal to norm x plus norm y and this is true for all n belongs to set of natural number you are getting the point that means norm x has a fi fix and some finite value norm y is also fixed and finite value so you will have some finite number there getting suppose this is 2 this is 3 then you will have 5 right hand side will be some fixed number 5 and 5 is that means this term is less than or equal to 5 for all n belongs to set of natural number then its supremum is also less than or equal to 5 you are getting 5 that means uh, i i am taking i have taken simple example okay suppose there is uh, there is some class okay and suppose there are some students x y z and so on okay so height of each student is less than or equal to 7 feet what i'm saying height of each and every student is less than or equal to 7 feet that means the tallest student of that class is also less than or equal to 7 feet you are getting my point so the same logic i'm applying here if each and every term for all in it is less than or equal to norm x plus norm y so that's why its supremum is also less than or equal to norm x plus norm y let me continue it here okay so see let me remove it it is not required i simply gave the example here okay so let us apply that logic so therefore what can we write let us use this space therefore supremum of mod xn plus y n n belongs to set of natural number that is also less than or equal to norm x plus norm y getting and this is nothing but what this is nothing but norm x plus y this is nothing but norm x plus y we have got this is less than or equal to norm x plus norm y and this is true for all x y belongs to capital x yeah so therefore we proved here this norm satisfies 
triangle inequality also therefore it satisfies all conditions so therefore norm is that norm on x so therefore we can declare it as a norm linear space okay thank you bye bye